What is up, you guys? What's up, ninjas? My name is Senworld, and today we're going to be talking about wavetables. Without wavetables, we wouldn't be able to make sound. Without color, you wouldn't be able to paint on the canvas, and so forth, okay? So wavetables for us in sound design, because sound design is an art form, guys. It's like the colors, the painting, the, the paint, when, when you're trying to make paint, a painting. So if you don't have paint, how are you going to make your painting? We don't have wavetables. How are we going to make, yeah. So just like in art, there's those high-end painting paint that, you know, it's just crazy and in sound design we do have crazy waveforms that we can buy now today i'm going to be showing you guys what makes a good wavetable the first thing you want to look at for a good wavetable is going to be the quality of the wavetable aka the quality of the sound so you check it out okay and then that's going to be the first test hopefully there's no crackling no distortion no frequencies kind of buzzing out like crazy you know just a just a standard wavetable that sounds very high quality you also don't want the wavetable to be that compressed and that saturated if you get what i mean now the second step is wavetables are really fun because you can change them over time this is how you create textures this is how you create drones ambient type of pads so the sec second test is going to be to just you know check the wavetable get it and then Pull down a note. And here we're gonna put this at zero. Oh man, come on, stay at zero. Oh man, I'm just gonna right click and like reset it. And we're gonna click it. And you're gonna move along. And what you wanna hear is a gradual change, like a change that happens slowly. Not a change that is like, you know, all of a sudden it's like, holy shit, what happened? So. Because then we can apply LFOs and we can get stuff like that. And then you can even make kind of like drone pads. You know, and. You know, and whatnot. So. That's why wavetables are really important, guys. Now, the wavetables I'm using here is the Cymatics Anniversary Wavetables, which are pretty much a dollar, fairly cheap. And all of them, the, the ones I've heard so far, are really, really cool. There's even a Rhodes one, which, you know, I find kind of neat. So if we were to get rid of this and put it at one. Now, for those of you guys who don't know the Rhodes, it's just a famous electric piano. So they provided the Rhodes MK2 waveform here. And there's various ways of like sampling wa wavetables, guys, that I'm going to talk about in the future. But wavetables are very important. You want to have a good set of them. Uh, Serum does have a good set of them. But again, you know, I think they could have done a little bit better with the wavetables, on my opinion. Um, so Cymatics does offer them with the sound banks that they have. But the cool thing is this wavetable pack is only a dollar. So if you're into making sounds making pads making atmospheric stuff buy some paint buy some color buy some wavetables for only a dollar anyways guys this has been a video sponsored by cymatics i'll see you guys later hopefully this kind of opens your minds up onto how important wavetables are and next time you buy another synth hopefully you can check the wavetables out before you purchase it anyways guys thanks for tuning in there's gonna be a new video coming out today later on hopefully you guys are gonna enjoy that one and you enjoyed this one i'll see you guys then don't forget to subscribe hit like comment and the software i used to record myself is called obs for those of you who always ask